This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. While the main form of interfacing with AutoCAD is through the ribbon and the command line, there are a few other methods of executing commands in AutoCAD. They are the menu bar and toolbars. Out of the box, these two forms of input are turned off. Before AutoCAD 2009 was released, these were the main forms of input, but they were replaced by the ribbon. The ribbon keeps everything in one central place where the toolbars can spread out all over the screen. So if you've used AutoCAD in the past though, then you're very familiar with the toolbars. They work just fine. And if you prefer to use them, go right ahead. There is no real right or wrong way when using them or the ribbon. But, however, if you haven't used them before, I suggest that you stay with the ribbon as it is now the accepted form of input from AutoCAD. The menu bar, which I've turned on for this section, is a very handy interface tool. It is a bar across the top of the screen that has pull down menus where the commands are located. If you select them, they will open up a pull down window that has the different commands in them that you may want to use. Many programs have an interface like this. You can turn it on or off though through a setting called menu bar. So type menu bar then enter. A value of 1, as it is now, turns it on. A value of 0 will turn it off. It's very easy to get to, very easy to turn on and off, however you would like. But again, like the toolbars, if you haven't used AutoCAD in the past, I suggest you work with the menu bar turned off, because now the ribbon is the accepted form of input for AutoCAD. If you want to get to the toolbars and the menu bar and get rid of the ribbon, that's fine. AutoCAD has a workspace called AutoCAD Classic. You can turn it on by switching workspaces. Your workspace is an interface screen in AutoCAD. It can be arranged in many different ways and for any reason you want it to. AutoCAD comes with three main workspaces out of the box. The 2D, the 3D, and the Classic. Turning on the classic workspace will get rid of the ribbon and turn on the menu bar and toolbars. I'll show you how. Go to your workspace switching area. Click on it. The active or current workspace will have a check mark to the left. We want to switch to AutoCAD Classic. Pick it. Your new interface has arrived. As you can see, not all of the toolbars are on. To turn them on, you need to right click on any of your toolbars. A window listing the available toolbars will appear. The ones with the check marks are the ones that are turned on. Click the ones you want to turn on, and they appear. Click the ones with the check marks to turn them off, and there it goes. As you can see, the toolbars appear all over your screen. You'll have to arrange them to places where you want them to be. This is one reason I suggest you use the ribbon as opposed to the toolbars. The ribbon centralizes your commands in one location on the screen. You go to one place and not all over. It's easier to hunt and peck for the commands if they are all in one place, especially while you are learning to use the software. To move your toolbar, hover over it, pick it and hold, and drag it to its new position, and then let it go. And there it will appear. To get back to your ribbon interface, just switch back to the 2D workplace. And there's our ribbon.